Hey Piercing Bats, it is me, Rose Simmer, and welcome to a new series, or possible series, maybe like a mini series, it pretty much just depends on my school schedule, I'll be honest, but um, welcome to Fixer Upper. I have always had a bit of a passion for like building on the Sims, but I've never been able to, I feel like I haven't succeeded like building from like the top to bottom, inside, outside, like that kind of stuff. I've always kind of struggled with that, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a, like, bare bones and make it even better. Um, and then maybe we'll go into, like, building and, like, stuff like that. I just need to get more friendly with the whole, um, building aspect, but I saw this from, I think it was Lonely Sims. I don't, I don't feel like that's right, though, so let me, let me look here. It is, um, Lil, um, Lil, Little? Like L I L S I M S E um S I E so like little Simsy little Simsy. So that's where I saw it from because she does a series like this and I was actually waiting for my parents um to come out of the store so I just decided to watch some YouTube like a normal YouTuber does and I ran across this and I was like, Oh my gosh, I feel like that'd be perfect for my channel. Good easy content to do and love I love to edit so it'd be a lot to edit which I really really do enjoy so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little tour of the little like house so obviously out front there is a um fence and just so you guys know I am here with a sim her name is Caitlin Rubin um she's pretty much like the fixer upper girl if that makes sense but I just named her that just because so outside we have like this fence that obviously does not let like anyone in and we can't even like knock on the door or anything. Um, so I'm just going to actually go ahead and go and head and go into buy mode so we can see everything. Um, so it is only a, I believe a two bedroom apartment or two bedroom house. Um, so obviously it's like really really gross on the inside. We have like things growing. And it's just like super super cheap and just looks disgusting on the inside um, and then obviously on the outside there is it is also very very overgrown as you guys can see there's graffiti all over the place um, and our backyard looks disgusting I'm sorry I keep grabbing things on accident um, looks absolutely disgusting there is like this gross pool back here with like stuff growing on it and then, yeah, it's just really, really gross. It has a great, um, like, foundation, though. So I feel like it will be pretty easy to fix up and make our own. So let's go ahead and jump into demolishing this place and getting it beautified.
here we go into the house woohoo this is the finished product by the way guys I really love what I did with this house in the entryway I did a very very neutral color just to kind of tone things down a bit from what it was um, I love the flooring too in the dining room I also did a very neutral color just because I wanted to do chairs that would make the colors pop together um, this is like the second hardest room I did. The kitchen was by far the hardest room I did. I love the color of the kitchen though. I love the way it turned out. I really wanted an island in there, but it just wouldn't work. Um, and in here we have, um, like a master bedroom per se. I really like the color scheme of this bedroom. Um, and then in here we have the bathroom, which is super small and I had to like rearrange the way I had it in my brain and I totally forgot to move the toilet paper holder. And this is of course the little girl's room, just like a children's room. Um, you could obviously put it into a boy's room too if you wanted. And here is little office space and that is it. And here is outside the perfect view. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Bye guys!